Media-rich presentations are great. Including high-quality images and videos often adds hugely to audience engagement, but it also adds file size, which is a pain. This deck is an unwieldy 23 megabytes for only 15 slides. But did you know that you can compress pictures using PowerPoint? First, select a picture on any slide and go to the Picture Tools Format tab on the ribbon. Choose Compress Pictures in the top left corner, and the pop-up box shows you different resolution options. For most purposes, the web resolution of 150 ppi is fine. But if you're using a particularly large screen or you're going to print it, maybe choose the Print 220 ppi option. This reduces the resolution of the image down to that level, which should help reduce the file size. If you uncheck the first box, you'll apply that resolution change to all of the images in the deck, pushing the file size down further. Also, if you crop an image in PowerPoint, the cropped portion of the image is still there, just hidden away, which adds to the overall file size. So checking the second box will delete any of these hidden areas, reducing your file size a bit more. And what does that do? Well, it takes it down to a mere 4 megabytes. Pretty impressive. But what if you've got video in your presentation? That can take your file size to stratospheric levels. This is a single 20 second video and the file size is 70 meg. Yikes! But you can also compress video and other media in PowerPoint. This time, go to the File tab in PowerPoint and the Info page should be selected. If you have video files in your deck, the first button on this page will be to compress media. Click this button and choose the quality you want PowerPoint to compress your file to. You'll have to figure out what's best for your use case and the video, but you're unlikely to need anything over 1080p, and usually 720p is fine. When you've chosen, you'll see a new window showing the progress of the compression. It'll also tell you how much space has been saved after the compression has been completed, which is nice. In this instance, choosing 720p resolution has saved nearly 48 megabytes. And because the videos also have a large thumbnail image, the total file size has dropped by 60 meg. Now, that may do the trick, but sometimes you'll come across a presentation that stubbornly refuses to yield a decent file size. At this point, you need to get tricksy. Part of the problem is that you often don't know which object is causing your file size to jump so much. It might be that 90% of your media files are a combined total of 5 meg, but one troublesome image is 30 meg on its own. Here's a foolproof way to find which files are causing you problems. Go to the folder where the presentation is stored, and you'll see the file size in the bottom left corner. Go to the View tab at the top and select the File Name Extensions box over on the right hand side. This puts the file type extension at the end of all of your files, so for PowerPoint it's .pptx. Now copy and paste the file using Ctrl and C and Ctrl and V. On the copy of the file, click on the .pptx and change it to .zip. Windows will give you a warning that it could ruin your file, but that's okay because this is a copy and the original file is still safe. Say yes, and then you'll see that your PowerPoint file has now turned into a zip file. Open the zip file and you'll be greeted with a lot of unfriendly looking folders. Go to the PPT folder and there there are even more unfriendly folders. Then go to the media folder and here you'll find all the images, music and video files used in your presentation. At this point you can sort them by file size and easily see the culprits that are jacking up your storage. Once you've got them you have a couple of options. One is to open up an image editing program. The Photos app in Windows 10 is actually really good for this. Simply open an image, go to the dots menu on the right hand side, choose resize and then adjust the resolution of the images easily. In most presentations you can take this down to the 2 megapixel setting or define custom dimensions with the smallest side around 1000 pixels. To reduce the image size in PowerPoint, find the image that's huge, Copy it and reduce the size of it physically on the slide. Then copy it using Ctrl and C and paste it using Ctrl and V. Before doing anything else, you'll see there's a little pop-up box in the bottom right of the image, which are the paste options. Choose the picture option and your image will now be a new image at a lower resolution because you made it smaller on the slide. Then use this to replace your existing image. 
which will then cut out the large file size. Or if you've got lots of animation on your image or it's in a group and you don't want to have to redo it, right click on the new small image and choose save as picture and save it somewhere. Then right click on the original picture and choose change picture, which allows you to find another image to replace it with. If you choose the image that you've just saved, you shouldn't see any difference on the slide, but your old large file size should now have been replaced with a lower resolution, smaller file size image, helping to reduce the file size of your presentation. Another tip is to think about the type of image file you're working with. The three most common are JPEGs, PNGs and TIFFs. JPEGs are the most common. They usually have lower quality, but it's often difficult to tell unless the screen is high quality and large. PNGs provide excellent quality with the size and also allow you to have transparent areas of your image, but that comes at a cost, with file size usually pretty high. TIFF files are often produced by high quality cameras in professional photo shoots. They're great for print, but overkill in a PowerPoint presentation. So if you're struggling with file size in a particular image, try saving it as a JPEG. In PowerPoint, right click on your image and choose Save as Picture. Then choose JPEG from the Save options in the window that opens up. One final way to keep your file size low is to make sure you don't have anything in the file you don't need. Often, file bloat happens with unnecessary slide masters with images and graphics on them that you won't ever use. To streamline your PowerPoint file, open the View tab in the PowerPoint ribbon and select Slide Master. If you can see a number of masters that don't appear in your presentation, you can probably delete them. And with all of these tips combined, you'll have a svelte PowerPoint deck that you can use and share with ease.